Hello everyone, Jacob here, and welcome to the first deck play video of 2021. I guess you noticed that I returned to the deck list on the end of the video format. Just testing out how this is going to work out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the replay, so now let's go to the deck list. This Dogmatica Wind Witch deck is actually comprised of three different engines, each having a different purpose. Let's look into them one by one, starting with the Dogmaticas. With two Fleur de Lis, one Maximus, triple Ecclesia, three Nadir Servant and two Punishments, it's a very standard Dogmatica engine, which has the purpose of sending cards from the extra deck to the graveyard. However, there is one little tech over there in the form of Adin. He's not here due to his effect, but for his stats. Adin is the only valid target for Nadir Servant that allows it to send independent Nightingale to the graveyard, basically setting up the Crystal Bell play. Next is the Wind Witch engine. With triple Glass Bell, triple Freeze Bell, triple Ice Bell and two Snow Bells, not to mention the triple Charm of the Wind Witch and one Ice Winds reference. The main purpose is to establish Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon using Winter Bell as one of the materials, additionally establishing the Crystal Bell play as well. However, should Crystal Wing be dealt with, there's always Diamond Bell, which is a fantastic tool for destruction removal and burn, as well as Hama, the Conquering Bow, which can attack multiple times, weakening opponent's monsters while doing so. The final engine in this deck is Spellbook Engine, with triple Blue Boys, triple Spellbook of Knowledge, and two Spellbook of Secrets. This is the draw engine of the deck. It's abusing the fact that every fucking monster is a spellcaster, making all of them valid targets for knowledge to get two cards. Finishing up the non-engine cards, one Harpy's Feather Duster because back row hate, one Pot of Avarice for recovery and further draw power, and triple Miracle Synchro Fusion. Those might be an overkill as a free of, but I would rather hard draw it than waste Maximus's effect not your servant or punishment on sending Camera Falsia to the graveyard. It can also work as a bluff since it's replaced itself when destroyed by an opponent's card effect. Now to the extra deck. First we have the standard Dogmatica targets, then the Wind Witch summons, and finally the ace monster, the OTK machine, Wind Witch Crystal Bell. Her effect allows her to copy an effect of a monster from either player's graveyard and with a valid target like Independent Nightingale, it makes her a 6800 attack point beast stick which can burn for 4 thousand. Count that with all the other burn that the Wind Witches can do, and it gets very close to game. That would be it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, I had a lot of fun making it. Remember to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't of course. You can also follow me on the social media where I post some stuff and other shite. Anyway, see you in two days, Jacob signing out, peace!